Hi and welcome back to the second of my four part video series on working from home and we're going to look at ergonomics. I was tempted computer ergonomics I'm really fascinated by how we can use computers for a long time each day and not get injuries and fatigue and tiredness and there's all kinds of different approaches there's some really great content on YouTube as well it's worth checking out uh, you can do sort of squat desks and standing desks they're all interesting things uh, but when it comes down to sort of working every day one thing that's become clear to me over the years is there's no magic sort of position you have to change so that's why I use the sit-stand desk. So I, throughout the day, I'm mixing it up between standing and sitting. And then as a third option, I just grab the iPad and I go and recline out on the uh, garden furniture in the sun for a little bit as well. So I've got three kind of different positions and that all seems to work really nicely for mixing things up a bit. So your eyes have actually got a resting point of accommodation and that is where your eyes are not using any mus muscle tension to focus um, and that distance is said to be about 30 inches away. So the other thing your eyes have got is a resting point of vergence or convergence and that's where your eyes are at rest uh, in controlling this sort of in out movement that focuses your, your two images so that you don't see two images and that's said to be about 40 inches away. So the interesting thing is, once you get past those distances, the strain doesn't increase. It's only as you come forward from those distances that your eye strain is likely to increase. And the other interesting thing about that is as your eye angle looks down, that resting point comes nearer. So you're more comfortable at closer distances as you are looking down. So obviously as you move a screen further back, it needs to get bigger because the computer interface and font sizes are all designed to occupy a certain field of vision and uh, that needs to grow proportionally as it goes back. So what I'm using is a 55 inch OLED 4K TV as my computer screen and I'm viewing it from about seven feet away. And it's a 4K monitor, which means the computer is actually outputting a retina quality image to that. So I'll get really sharp font uh, rendering and, and clarity. And it still represents a normal computer desktop kind of size occupying my normal field of vision. So the Mac is also capable of running the screen at 60 Hertz. So I'm getting a really nice smooth image with mouse movement and things like that as well. So I've got my laptop and iPad screen lower down but nearer. And I actually think there's a benefit to being able to refocus to those different distances throughout the day as well. So I'm constantly looking between the two, three screens. And, and I think that sort of gives your eyes a little bit of exercise. It's gotta be better than just being locked at a single focal distance all day long. So the other interesting thing is I just wanna to touch on the keyboard and trackpad. So, you know, obviously you, if you rest your wrists on the desk, you're likely to get those uh, carpal tunnel syndrome issues, which I really don't wanna get. Um, and I've felt sort of nervous twinges sometimes after doing that. So I sort of adopted a habit of hovering my, my hands over the keyboard and trackpad to avoid that. And that definitely does sort the, the wrist issues out, but it means you're not typing as fast because you haven't got that anchor point of reference for your fingers to, to work. So I use one of these squishy things now um, so that I can actually lightly rest my hands on that and keep the anchor point so I can type faster. I also think trackpads are better than mice as well. Just it seems to me that being able to hover your hand or, or rest it lightly on a squishy thing and just move your fingers in one place is a, is a lot less risky than resting on the desk and, and dragging your hand around with the mouse. So that kind of wraps up this little video where we're looking at ergonomics and, and that's in terms of sort of eye strain and your body in terms of posture and operating a keyboard and a mouse for long periods of time. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video, which is gonna be all about scheduling, which is a really important part of working from home. Thank you.